Good evening, Facebook. Another week, another Thursday in the Word, a quick word. Um, you know, I asked the Lord what He wanted me to talk about today, and He gave me a message. And this is mainly towards the men. You know, a lot of times we as men, the devil will have us duped, tricked into thinking that we can't be emotional when it comes to God. Uh, we can't praise and worship God. That's a girl thing, you know. It's a girl thing to lift your hands and to cry out to God and to to worship Him and to honor Him. Um, a lot of times, Sunday mornings, the woman is up early getting the kids ready for church and the man is sleeping on the couch or he chose to stay home and watch the game. You know, it seems harmless, but those are tricks from the devil. The devil knows if he can get a man out of church he can have your whole uh, your whole household. What I mean by, by that is the head, the man is supposed to be the head of the household. He's supposed to be the priest of the home. God flows all blessings through the man. And it goes from the man to the family. So if he can reverse the roles in the house and make the woman the head of the house and the man on the back in the background then the devil can move in and destroy your family because your house is out of order. So, men, I challenge you today is take over your house. Take control um, of your household. Be the man of God that God called in every man to be. You know, you should be the first person up on Sunday mornings getting the family ready for church. Um, you should be the one that says, in my house, we got to praise the Lord. When you think of Noah, you think of, all the great men of the Bible, God used those men to do powerful and mighty things. Well, guess what? God haven't changed. We change. And in order to get your blessings, to get your wife blessings, your kids to be blessed, it starts with you as the man of the house. There's nothing more attractive in a woman's eyes to see a man pulling out the Bible and say, okay, family, this is, it's prayer time. It's, it's, you know, we got to read a couple verses before we go to bed. It's nothing more attractive in a woman's eyes to see a man getting up early, making sure the children have their clothes ready for church and, you know, uh, making sure they get out on time. They ain't got to be in an overflow room. They want to be in a sanctuary, not sitting in the overflow. Uh, it's nothing more attractive in a woman's eyes to see a man praying. Do you know if a man actually pray on a daily basis for his family on how far your family would go in life? telling you guys I had to learn that you know I had to learn to be the man of God that God called me to be and to take control of my life and to make sure I wake up every morning and praise and worship him you literally filter the house when you walk around your home and you praise and worship God grab your Bible and start speaking the book of Psalms and praise it speak it loud literally it's just like the exterminator walking in and spraying your house down when you actually praise and worship God and you speak in the, the book of Psalms, it's like you taking Lysol and spraying through your home. You literally spraying evil spirits at your home to give your home that good, clean vibe. You want to welcome the Holy Spirit in your home by praise and worship, men. And let me tell you, whatever you do, your, your lady, your wife, your children will follow because you are the superstar of their home. You are... You are the head of the house. You are the president of the house. You are the priest of the home. So, man, I'm challenging you, challenging you today is to be the man of God. And therefore, your family will be blessed because all blessings are tied into your praise and worshiping God and being obedient to God. And watch how God move and change your life and change your circumstances. Anyway, just a quick word. It was on my heart. And um, hope you guys got something out the message. Have a wonderful day and God bless you.